Muay Thai is my life. The I have this long story because he is uh, Saka Sam and then Saka Sam Lake uh, uh, nephew. Okay? Saka Sam fought for me and Saka Sam bring his brother, two three brother, and Saka Sam Lake is doing so well also. And then finally they bring uh, Ben Sayam, yeah. Uh, and then Ben Sayam. I came to Fat Tech uh, 12, 13 years old. Yeah, uh, I have my brother. Big brother, bring me. My big brother came first, and uh, he bring me to come to Fat Tech after fifth school six year. Yeah. Okay. When I, you know, like I, when the fight, I, uh, my team or I, uh, my team, uh, my tenant, we know already. Uh, when they have a fight and I have a program to fight, and uh, after that we got training really hard about uh, two weeks. Uh, we need a diet, you know, eat well, train really hard, wake up like uh, five a.m. to run. In Thailand, they call kilo, you know, like run like fifteen kilo, about one hour, hour and half, something like that, and uh, come back to the gym and uh, start. Lap the hand, check the box, hit the pad, something like that. Uh, everything you know, like uh, hot to fight. And then he's a very good fighter, and he became uh, very famous, doing very well. But just a little bit of luck, you know, during, during, uh, a little bit of luck, he would be the, one of the best of Thailand, you know. But sometimes luck. Uh, changing his life. So he's doing well, I can consider he's top of Thailand, but not not uh, the, the top five, top six, you know, and then top ten, only eight, nine, ten, something like that. First, uh, Lumpri Bell, I, I won uh, with a 112, five, 112 pound, and the Lumpini. Uh, Second bell, second bell, I fight for Thai, Lumini Taido with a San Chai 115. I lost that one kick. <laughs> I claim to uh, U USA uh, uh, 13 years ago with a Fairtex sponsor me to bring me to come here uh, to teach. Yeah, and uh, in the first Fairtex uh, in, uh, in San Francisco, so uh, after uh, Fatek uh, San Francisco closed, like uh, I moved, would uh, work with uh, at the gym with my big brother. He named Bunker Fatek too with work, but we still in San Francisco, but uh, not Fatek anymore. But uh, I feel sad, you know, because I grew up with Fatek. I have a good friend, good like a like a family. We live together like. A, 20 years, something like that, like a big family, you know, we eat together, we party together, we drink together, something like that. Before I was in the house, I was in the house, and I was in the house, and I was in the house, and I was Well, as for another point, you know, he's a good fighter, you know, he's smart, he's a smart fighter, you know, not like, uh, Yot Sankai, you know. Yot Sankai is, of course, he's also smart, but he's tough, you know, heavy. But for another point, he always uses technique, you know, and his smartness to win all the fight, you know. Me, Tenor Gao, Fatek, Chu An, Fatek, Tito, Homa, Hub. Now, Poko, Kin Yunanwa, Jamadi, Mai Madi, that's a tiger, that Madi may guide up. Of course, all his friends. He knew in America, so they called me up. Hey Philip, we, we, we need uh, you know uh, another point to go to America. He can be to, to be become a trainer and become a fighter. Uh, they all asked my permission. I said okay. I met Narvo for the first time when he came to teach at Koa Academy uh, in Newark, California. Um, he was the fight team coach and he encouraged me to start fighting. Um, I, did, I did my 
first smoker with him as my coach and then we started hanging out with a group of us on the weekends and eventually we broke off and started doing our own thing. I fought in the uh, USA about 11 and 10 but I think here you know like fight really easy because in Thailand you know like a look up with the uh, grambling like something like that you know you got uh, in here, you know, like, not, 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 like, not tie you sell, you know, like, really easy to fight here, you know, like, kind like, not, oh, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, something like that. Fighting and training in America with Muay Thai is, I would say it's more difficult than uh, it was for Narfal in Thailand. It's not, the fighting schedule here is, Difficult. There's a lot of money involved, and there's not a lot of promoters to to keep a regular fighting schedule. He's only fought four times since he's been in the U.S., and he's been in the U.S. five years now. So that's an average of one fight a year compared to Thailand, where he's fighting pretty regularly. So it's um, I think it's been a little frustrating for him. One, I have to walk to to in the ต้องรับผิดชอบตัวเองไม่เหมือนตอนอยู่เมืองไทยครับ 2 แรกๆก็รู้สึกกลัวนะครับเพราะว่าเสียเวลาพูดพูดเสียงดังแล้วทําให้ทุกคนกลัวและเกรงใจครับแต่พออยู่ไปนานๆผมก็เฉยๆคร